Hello, Professor Adamant. This is my first vlog. Um, here we go. My name is Michael. I was born in Portland, Oregon, and I lived there for nine years until my family and I moved down here to Southern California. Um, I've lived in Yorba Linda ever since, which is down the 91. I am currently double majoring in accounting and business administration with an emphasis in management. Um, I'm a junior. It's my third year. Um, as far as hobbies, I enjoy playing video games and sports with my friends and going to Disneyland with my girlfriend. We both have annual passes, so we go there um, about once a week, almost. It's a lot, but it's fun. Um, in my opinion, what is the most important invention? That is a difficult question to answer because there are lots of important inven uh, inventions. But I would say, um, for me, I think it would be the wheel because um, it's just had such a huge impact on mankind for you know 4,000 years. It's still around. It's still used every day by almost everyone, um, at least in modern uh, types of civilizations. So I would say the wheel because it... Um, it really, when it was invented, helped man spread its hor his horizons, I, I think. So I would say the wheel, as far as my most important invention. Um, a new technology that I recently learned about, I hope this counts, but um, it's an app for the iPhone, and it's called the Sleep Cycle Alarm Clock for the iPhone. And what it does is you, you open the app and you put it on your bed when you go to sleep, and the app uses the accelerometer of the iPhone um, to keep track of your body movements and somehow it figures out what cycle of sleep you're in based on your body movements and what it does is you set the alarm mm. for a half hour mm. that you want to wake up in so like 7 to 7 30 and in that time mm. it will decide um, mm. when you are in the mm. most opportune time to wake up, mm. like when you're in the lightest sleep. So I've actually used it for a couple nights and I've felt rested. I hope it's not just a placebo effect, but um, so yeah, I, I guess just using the accelerometer um, of the iPhone is just a, a new technology. It's obviously been mm. around, the iPhone has been around for a while, but it's a new use for it. So I hope that counts. Um, a technology or a new idea or product that isn't available yet. Um, I hope this one counts too. But I think something that I would use would be a combination of two technologies that are in existence. Um, something that I think would be cool would be a GPS system that integrates real-time traffic to calculate how long... Um, a trip will take. So I know that GPS units say it'll take 20 minutes to get from A to B, um, but sometimes traffic is is really bad in certain times or something. So I know there are website. There's a website called SigAlert.com. I don't know if you've used it, but um, it'll show you like if it'll have a point on the freeway and say at Chapman Avenue they're going 15 miles an hour and at the 22 they're going 20 miles an hour. So this technology could maybe calculate like the average of those speeds um, over the distance and multiply it by the distance and then come up with a time or something like that. Um, I don't know, that might help so people will know exactly how long it will take at any given moment. So. Um, so yes, it would be possible to make that happen using technology that exists. I guess they just have to figure out a formula or an algorithm that would be able to calculate um, the time. And would I personally be interested in making it happen? Uh, I mean, I would use it. I, I don't know if I would be interested in developing it, but um, I would use it if it existed. So that is my first vlog. Um, have a good day, and I will see you in class.